Welcome to the second episode of Terraform Pest Control. In the previous episode, we started out with some nice long shots on doves and guinea fowl. A day that started out cloudy and a bit cool turned into a very hot and humid day very quickly. So sit back and enjoy episode 2. With it being so hot, we decided to sit under a tree and shoot some doves off a close by power cable about 60 meters away. And Fatty decided to mount his phone to his scope so we can record some of his shots too. Beautiful shot. Beautiful <laughs> flipping shot. Yeah. 83 meters. Oh, beautiful shot. Beautiful. Ah, oh, beauty, hundred meters. I must say it's really a treat to be out here today on this dairy farm. Um, we spent some uh, time here. I think uh, about four hours now. I've. Uh, handful of doves and uh, we're still gonna carry on so uh, this is just tons of fun and to be honest uh, I haven't had so much fun in a very very long time um, it's always been the same stuff over and over so this is really something else 
and I must say it's really really a treat to be here today. After smacking a fair amount of doves off the power cable, we spotted two guinea fowl playing in the sand in the dirt road not too far from us. We decided to stalk them and see if we can make it a double kill shot. With the camera being a bit too far from us, we are going to switch over to the GoPro and the phone audio so you can hear us a bit better. Okay, we got uh, two guinea fowl at uh, about 25 meters. So, um, Fatty actually uh, was lying right here, as you guys saw. And I was aiming over that little uh, brick wall there. So, um, let's go fetch it. Okay, here's Fatty's uh, one, and this is also one big, big guinea fowl. So, you can see on the head there that it's nice. Uh, it's quite old. Yeah, quite old, old as well, yeah. yeah. I quickly want to pause the video right here. For those who don't know how to see the difference between a male and a female guinea fowl, here is a very good frame to show you. A male's wattle and helmet is much bigger than a female's, and the male is also bigger in size than a female. So, uh, you see this one? I think that one should be the male, and this one, because it's a little bit smaller, it might be the, the female. I'm just gonna put the camera down here. There we go. Two. Simultaneously shot, we had a countdown to three, and um, what a beauty. <laughs> this is the third one of the day for me, and the first one for Fatty for the day. So, um, yeah, very exciting. <laughs> Three moles of all the After our excellent double kill, we took the birds to the truck and we spotted another guinea fowl in the dirt road about 83 meters away. So I tried my luck. is empty no shots left 82 or 83 meters I gave it uh, 
three mils of hold over. And that was a perfect shot. The longest shot on a guinea fowl so far with the day state dreadful safari. This gun is performing uh, so great uh, today. I can't complain about anything. Okay, so here we go. This is the, the one that I got now at 83, I'm gonna call it 83 meters. Um, it was a beauty of a shot. Again, this one is uh, nice and big. You can see uh, the bone on its head or the helmet. Obviously it's called the, the helmet headed uh, guinea fowl. Um, it's quite big, so you can see this one is also a very old one. And uh, from the looks of it, uh, this might must be a hen. Um, so yeah, another one in the bag. Very very happy. With the sun setting fast, we decided to make our last trip around the feeding lot. Guinea fowl are everywhere, but they are damn spooky. I spotted a couple at 52 meters, and one flies on top of the roof. Not 100% sure about the distance. Fatty takes aim and tries his luck. Unfortunately, he missed. Better luck next time. We have another two at 100 meters. So, uh, I'm gonna try to take a shot and see.
first shot was bad, like really, really bad. I don't know what the hell I did. There's another two coming in now. But um, they ran off a little bit. I gave a little bit more of all over. Got the one down. And um, the other one stood a little bit longer, or actually long enough for me to take a follow up shot on him. So I managed to get another two. So uh, they're still flapping there. But uh, I know for a fact it was good spine shots. Very, very happy with that. Uh, I just want to sit here a little bit longer, hopefully. I can uh, get another one because there was another two that came in just now. Damn, it seems like they, they ran off, so um, those two will have to do. Um, I gave it around five to five and a half moles of old over. That would be around uh, 105 to 110 uh, meters. Um, <laughs> I'm very happy. Uh, longest shot so far on a guinea fowl with the day state radio safari. Very quiet with the Donny FL uh, moderator and uh, the Eagle Vision cam setup. You know, it's just phenomenal. To be able to record everything that we are shooting today is just outstanding. Um, the quality of this thing is just really, really great. And my Vanguard Equalizer 2 biports make it so comfortable to come out on uh, properties like this and on occasions like this and to be able to sit comfortably and uh, shoot the whole day. So good equipment will make you enjoy your hunting day every, every time that you come out. Chips and goose on uh, 154 meters. Marne is lining up for the shot. It's about 10 mil dots of hold over. Just over its back. That was a very long way out. With almost no sunlight left, we called it a day. Not knowing my mic's battery died after almost 6 hours of recording, I was left with no audio for the last scene. But I just want to give a big thanks to Fatty for inviting me to shoot with him on his permission. I hope there will be more in the future. If you guys want to see more dairy farm pest control videos in the future, please give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers!